Hello everybody, this is Sonia and um, I'm in Australia. Now I've come on here today because I want to work on my journal. Um, I've been getting a few bits and pieces together so I can um, get started. Now, um, I've done a few things, or maybe I've only done a couple of things since I last showed it to you, so a few more bits and pieces here to what we're working on. So let's have a let's put this over here while I show you. I'm using that for piece of paper. <laughs> um, now let me see, where were we up to? Uh, I'll put the house on. Put the house on. Got to do a bit more in the house yet. I want to do a bit more um, here. Uh, let me see what else. Oh, put some spots on my plants. Thinking about that. Doesn't that look cool? Put the white dots all around the flowers. I love it now. <laughs> I think that looks absolutely awesome. I've got to draw with it so that it looks like it's meant to be there and it's an actual piece. <laughs> okay, well, that was that's what I was going for anyway in that. And is that all? Yes, because I was just um maybe not. Oh yeah, I put actually I put this piece, this piece of card in here. This just bits that I've actually put in will come I'm gonna come back and sort on and this is a pocket. Not nowhere near finished, but just to show you what I've been doing, you know, things that you can do anyway, like there's nothing um, that hard or fancy, um, but I'm going to show you how, what I, where I, how I treated the pocket thing and stuff like that, you know, so this here, I've been had it sitting there for a while, I've noticed now that it's not closing down properly, so it's flipping up like so, and getting caught on that. Um, so we'll have to deal with that somehow. So to, to, for these pieces here, um, I didn't want to really cut that out to make that a pocket. So I did, um, as you can see, I've just cut it round on an angle there. And I'm just thinking that I might just put a nice piece of something around it. But I was thinking before I come on here, well, I wanted to finish off something that I was looking at. I can't remember now what that was now. Right, let's just do this one then. I'll finish this page here. I hope you can see this all right because I'm... Okay, we well, should see what I'm doing. So I've cut that out with from a children's book. I've got a really... I've got a lot of um, really nice books by Shelley Barber. I think that was her name. And I also bought a book with um, baby, um, so the corners that were from the Shelley Barber one. I have a real lot of these now because I bought a set of them. I just have got, have got so many and I can't get them all. And they're really pretty pictures. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? So I've cut them out. The other one I got things out of was a book about the baby's birthdays and things like that and all around the outside it had all these pretty trims see so I cut all them out I've got it all in here I did this the other day because yesterday I bought a, a flower book and I spent ages cutting all the insides out of it but these are the, the nice pictures that I've cut out from the the fairy one so um, well the Shirley, Bar Shirley, Shirley Barber and um, I just want to show you, you know, that's places you can get really lovely things. Look at the flowers and that, see? It's really pretty pictures. She makes some really nice pictures. But, uh, but I think they look really good. So because I've made this um, like I have, um, I need to make it look better. <laughs> you know, that's what I want to do. So I've actually collected up a few bits and pieces here that I just sort of thought might look okay on it. So we need some trim. Don't know if I'm going to do any. See, so that's very, very laid back. That one is too, too ordinary. This one here. No, I'm not a big fan of that. See, personally, I am a bit. I am struggling a bit with this. Personally, yeah. I don't know what it look like if I just chopped it off there. <laughs> If I cut that down there, make it look more like a tuck, I suppose. Yeah. I don't know. 
Really oh, I'm struggling a bit with that. I did it last night and now that I look at it, I don't know if it looks a bit gawky. Mm. It just seemed a shame to cut the flowers off. It really did. It seemed a shame to cut them off. Yeah. If you know me, I'll... <laughs> yeah. I wonder what it, how it would work if I did that. I did that. I cut them off there like that. What do you reckon? Mm. Just checking to see what time it is. Ten thirty. A bit after. So. So I really like those flowers. I do really like that there. I might leave it. I think I don't like it because I'm not used to seeing seeing it. I don't know. Um. I think it would look really pretty, wouldn't it? Seems to me that this bit here is too, you know, <laughs> round. <laughs> oh, goodness. I thought I had the plan all, all planned out, what I wanted to do. Am I going to cut that off? I think I will. I think I will cut that off. Should be able to. Pull this up a bit here without tearing something. Okay. Now I need it on an angle like that. Because that way I'm still going to have that little thing there. <coughs> Pencil. <coughs> I'll draw a slight line down here. Sorry about if I'm my arms in the road, but I. I'm going to cut that down there. Okay. So, <clears throat> I might not be able to see what I'm doing here for a minute because it's going to be something that I've got to hang on to. This is a bit sad. <laughs> it's not, not something I wanted to do, but anyway, it just looked wrong, you know. I don't think I would have been happy with it, so I honestly didn't want to put anything else on there. I wasn't going to like it. But that looks better, doesn't it already? Look at that. I'm impressed. I do like that. Now I'm going to take the ink off there. <clears throat> I've actually put a little tiny bit of paper up there, so I need to fix that. I'll just look at to see how straight that is. There's a little tiny bit there I must cut off a bit better. I'm not going to worry about that because I'm going to put something down there. And I, I'm going to put something on that. It's not going to be that though. It just took away from the really nice picture. So let's have a go at something else. For a tuck spot. That look better. I think it might do. Okay. Um, I was thinking about using a piece of um, paper. What do you reckon? It's not going to be that wide, is it? It's going to be a tiny thin piece. Just cut a piece off here and see what it looks like. yellow. Okay. I do like the blue though. I didn't really want it to cover his head. So I'm going to have to be very careful because when I stick this down I don't want the actual thing itself to be stuck. Either do I. And then in that there part I'll just see what this looks like. It's not going to be what's going in there but you can actually then Still put a fair sized piece in that, and does it look good? 
Let me see. Put the thing on. Not put the thing on. If you don't put the thing on, it doesn't look like it's finished. If it doesn't look like it's finished, you don't put the bit on there. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going with the paper today. I think I'm going to pick the paper over that. For some reason, I think it just. Ah um. <laughs> oh dear! I thought now this morning I thought, oh, well, I've got an idea what I'm going to do, so let's go do it. I was going to go to the shops today, but I don't have to now, so I'm going to do this today and go tomorrow. Right? Is that going to work for me? No. Ooh. Maybe I better go away from this one for a little while. That's what you do, don't you? You just have a break, go away from it for a minute, and I'll show you a couple of things yesterday I bought. Let's just do that for a minute. And then I'm going to come back and try and see if I can do a bit more on this. Okay. I've got some fabric yesterday. I've got a few pieces and I'll show you this. Look. This is really, really... Cute. Things a little bit old. Retro, whatever. Look at that. It's like a seersucker. It's got these bubbly up spots on it, white spots, and hearts. Little flowers around it's a heart shaped. Beautiful piece, that was really nice. Then I've got this bit of pink. Now this is pink alright. It's got bees on it. Oh, I forgot to show me hubby. It's got bees on it. But it's also got these little pictures here. The lady in the garden. Look at that. They're nice, aren't they? They don't. It's losing me with her face. She's not really. <laughs> but anyway, so I've got that piece. That's two, that's double over. There's a fair bit of that there. So that was good. And then I found this bit. Look at this. I've got these at Vinnie's. Now I'm really, really excited about these piece. This has got like um, cross stitch uh, bits on them with sentiments and like, you know, like this is friends friendship is a sheltering tree. It might be a good idea if I don't read it upside down, it'd be a lot easier. Um look. A road to a friend's house is never long. So you could cut these out or I could cut them out and <laughs> I probably will. <laughs> mother of sweetest mother the sweetest thought in life. This one here, it's got a horse and that one. Got a fair bit of this, actually. And it's all covered in those things. Isn't that neat? I do love fabric, so I'm really pleased about that. Now, when I first seen it, it was folded up. I thought, oh dear, that looks nice, isn't it? I'll have that because it was bits and pieces on. Didn't realise how much it was really nice, you know. And if I do, when I do cut bits out, I'll be able to put. Um, put them in my journals or whatever I want to do with them. So that was just those. Now, we can have another look at this thing now. <laughs> I've had a break from it. Let's just go to another page for a minute, eh? Is what we're thinking and we might do. Okay, now, um, this one here, I was thinking too of putting a border along the top and the bottom of this because I'm not a big fan of that just being ending off there plain. Where's that bit of strip I had before? Okay. Alright. I don't think it fell on the floor, but anyway. I just felt, felt that I needed to put something. I want to put something along there, but I don't want to use the... Because I've got lace either side of that. And that there is where that got stuck. So I need to put a flower. Righto. Now we've got to... We've got the idea what we want to do with this. So, actually, let me see this. Let me think a minute. What I, I might do another page with what I'm thinking I want to put there. I want to do, might do another page for that. Now, where's a, a light blue? Is it trim? No. I'm going to put, have I got any washi tape that I like on that? Mm. I might have to write down on the last time, but this was slow crafting with Sonia because you've got to get it right, don't you? You don't want to be mucking it up. How about that? 
Woo! <laughs> That's a bit over the top. Here. It's a bit much. Wait a minute. Find something else. We will. That's not long enough in pieces. I do like the mushrooms. Okay. Yeah. We need something pretty plainish, don't we? Okay. What about this pink one? Actually, it looks like it's got blue on it too, this roll, doesn't it? But I think that's probably from where... See, there's a bit of blue along that. What's that look like? I can't see it. I'm not high enough, this table. That doesn't look too bad. The only thing is, I think, it, it's a tiny bit wide. It's a tiny bit too wide. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it back on there. And then I'll find something else that's that colour. Piece of paper. I think something I can use. It's pinky. It's a pinky colour. No, that's not going to be easy, is it? Of course not. Dear me, me. I'm not having much luck this morning, am I? So if you've got something <laughs> sitting in there, okay, like that, I definitely think it needs to have something across there. Okay, so I found the... I found the piece of paper, but I want to cut it out straight. I want it to be straight, so I'm going to get me the guillotine thing. Make sure I cut this straight. The two pieces, the top and the bottom of that thing. Right. Now, finally, we've got, we're got. we doing something, are we? Hopefully, you think. Right, now I want it to be there. That's nice. I think I'll have this piece the same size. I think. It's not going to be an easy thing, is it? Measure it up here. Cutting this tiny slither of paper. I think I like it. Only thing is, I'm not going to glue it right to the end. I'm going to just I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a minute. Oh, look at that. It'll go underneath there. Have it goes under this side too. Not that simple, funny. Oh, yes, it will. Just slightly. So I need to cut a bit more off. <coughs> Take a bit more off there. Put a tiny bit of glue just along the edge of this butterfly here. I don't want to lose him too much now, do I? Come along there like so. Just make sure that doesn't stick down to the paper. Page and I'll be here. I do like that better. I do. <coughs> it's down here. Oh dear, I think I'll. My tummy's talking. It's not good, is it? <laughs> tummy rumbling. Let's try and do something. Not nice at all. I don't think these were cut exactly the same. 
that's good. I like that. That's better. Before it sort of looked to me like it was just sitting there in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so now I want to put a flower up here. Um, I've just got that piece sitting under there for the time being to stop it from touching the other bit. I'll put this under there when I finish, maybe. I don't know, it can change my mind all the time, can't I? Right, oh, now let me see. What do I want to put up the top there? A flower or a butterfly? Something. I have a very large collection of flowers and things. Hang on a second. Okay, let's, let's look at something different for change. We'll put that there. No, not this one. Maybe this one. Maybe that one. Maybe that one. And I might put a little button or something on there, hey. I reckon. Nope, I found something better. If I can get it off the pin cushion. <laughs> I um, have seemed to have been making a lot of use of these things that I've bought off these old nighty things that I've bought in the past. They're not old. I bought them at the second hand shop and they are actually new but And then I just took off the, the trims of them. You know, I showed you an idea the other day. This came off a real old brunch coat. It had a whole heap of this around there. So I really um, was pleased with that because I can just get the, the little trims off it. And if I want to use the fabric, I can do that as well. I do like to recycle a bit of stuff, me. Okay. Now, there's a bit of bits and pieces on that. And that not looking better. Not with that in there though. I'm going to put something in a different colour in there. Okay. Is what I need. <coughs> a different colour thingy. And I'm sure I have one. <laughs> Here's something that's light. Like this. You know, like the pink side. Something like that I can put in there, can't I? That, I really love that. That's pretty. That's really nice. Now, on this one here, I was getting this done, I was doing this this morning and I thought, well, I should come on and show you what I'm doing. But then I sort of changed my mind on what, what direction I was going to go with this, didn't I? Because so I, I was thinking about leaving that page, um, sorry about that, that's a bottle creek and this is made out of really skinny, skinny, crackly up stuff. and give me water. I've been very thirsty the last few days. Okay. Um. So I want to put, um, what have I got on the, I've got things on the other side here, so I'll probably need to put a piece of lace on the side of this to start with, or paper, no I'm going to put lace on it so because it's going to go through, it's going to be on both sides so I'll put a nice lace on. I have a lot of thicker um, laces but I think I like to stick with these thin ones because then they're not going to make me look too bulky, but I still want to put things in it that will maybe probably make it look a bit bulky, eh? Now, do I want to put that first or this first? This lady, though, I'm, I'm having a second, not, not second thoughts, but I want to do something else with it, like... But I don't necessarily want it to be a pocket. Okay, so... I cut her out of a piece of something that I had and I stuck her on there because then I thought about using it for a pocket and then I thought it would be nice if it opened up and there was space for writing in there or or if it opened up and like that, <laughs> you know. So, let's try making something like that to put in this. Um, I just don't, don't seem to be able to settle with just doing an ordinary thing, do I? That's okay. You don't have to do an ordinary thing. I don't really have to use lined paper either, do I? I might use a piece of this and it's a green or the cream colour. I've got that there bit. That's too dark. That's too dark. That's too dark. Let me see. What have I got here? Right. 
have some other really nice stuff here that I can use as well. But we can't go on off the track. We need to stick to what we're doing first. It is done, aren't we? I guess I'll use this. Okay, so now I'm going to make something like that falls under and, you know, like a, probably a hidden thing. I don't know. Just like that sort of thing. And make more bits and pieces in this. So I need to cut it that to there. I'll move the book away. And we need it to do some sort of a... It would be nice if we just have a concertina so I can <laughs> flip it over a few times. Okay. Where are we going to go to? Wherever I take it to, I'm going to have to do it <coughs> with the scissors, I think, because I've got all your paper trimmers behind me, I think, on this, uh, behind my chair. Oh, I can have my technical support pass me that, couldn't I? Yes. He would do that for me, I think, if, if he's in the house. I wonder if he's inside. Have I got a technical support person this morning? Please? Free. Maybe not. <laughs> oh dear, never mind. I think I'll do it with this. I must be home alone. Behind me there's your paper trim. <laughs> you didn't hear me or you did. <laughs> what were you doing? Thank you. Thank you, the old. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> he doesn't mind helping. He just, I think he had his head under the earphones or something on the computer where he couldn't hear me. Right, now, so now I'm going to cut along that line there. Probably would have fit, fit in the other thing anyway too. Make sure this is straight up against that there. There we go. <clears throat> now I can use the other thing. Go the other way. Sit that down there. All these bits and pieces that we need to do these things, but I'm going to start working. I've done a, I got in my room the other day, so I'm going to get back in my room and I can be surrounded by all this stuff, I suppose. I decided I wasn't going to put air conditioner in it after all. What I did, I just lock out my window. I still have a window, but I lock out a lot of windows. I don't like to sit there. I don't like to sit in front of the window and look out. Oh, we can't see my trees and things, but I like to sit there and look out the wrong way, so I need to just go that way. Yeah. I like to sit there and um, look out at the window, so um, the world. <coughs> I don't want to block that off, so I'm going to just think of something else. I'm going to work out some other way of doing it. Now, I haven't got me, um, you know, one of those, not real, really, though. But I haven't got me thing for making creases, and that would be a... You know one of them things. <laughs> it's not here, it's inside. So I'm going to make that a crease in that. There. Try it again. This rule's got a funny shape to it, it's got a sharp point that side, which I can't really. I can't get to it, I won't panic. Righto. I've only spent half an hour. I must have something done, we can't be. Can't be. Oh, so that's that bending properly. <coughs> Usually, if you can get these two pieces here, like right, this part here should come down right, and it should be bent straight. When I say the two sides here, it's cut down straight should be right. Right. Uh, so that's going to go under there, and, there. and then I can take this one back just to make sure that that's in line up there and press it down, hopefully it'll be right, it'll be straight, you won't be able to see the folds and the creases in it, hopefully. Now I haven't put any stenciling or anything on this yet, I'll 
I might do that in the next one, but I won't torture you with that. I'll just show you how to put stenciling on. It's not that hard. But now I want this to open. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Upside down, sorry. Yeah, we'll go back to that one in a minute. Have a rest from that one minute. Where were we? Here. Thinking about putting this here. And then lift it up. You've got that side there and that side there, and then you put that back down again. And that'll need a thing. I didn't really want to have to have it tied down, but I may, may need to. Uh, like, you know, put a ribbon in that on it to stop it from coming open. Should we do it from the top to the bottom or across that way? The other day I was going to put a magnet on something, and but the magnet was very tiny, and I, I dropped it. And then I found it again. Okay, so we might just do that. I could put a magnet on there. Let's do that for fun. I found them, but I'm not going to put the tiny, tiny, tiny ones on. All right, I've got a little thingy. Oops. Look at this here. I've got this tiny little tin. And inside it I have magnets. And these these are actually tiny magnets on a roll. Look. They're all is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. One of my small <laughs> Mistakes when buying something I didn't see how big they were. <laughs> There's a baby baby magnet there. I can't cope with that though. I'm gonna have to use I've got some <laughs> I've got these little brads stuck in here but they must have got caught up in the uh, I've got these ones, they're still these are still small, they're a bit little bulky, but I suppose when you get two of them together that's gonna be too thick, isn't it? Oh dear. Would have liked to have done that. I don't think I can hang on to one of these to stick it onto anything. I know what I'll do, I'll put it on with a piece of something. Let me see. Now where do I want it to go? It's got to go back on the tin for a minute so I don't lose it. Let me see, we're going to put that on there like that. So, for that to sit down, closed. Right. That bit there's going to come up anyway. If I put that ma a magnet there, that's going to flip up. So there goes that idea. We'll put on something else in a minute. We're going to have to put a piece of ribbon around this <coughs> from the top to the bottom. I need there needs to be something else I can hold it shut. Oh dear, it's been another way I can hold it shut. Because I've got the ribbon around that bit. I'm thinking I've got a ribbon around something else in here too, that envelope there. I suppose if I have to tie it up, I do, don't I? I mean, put that onto there and then onto there. I might do that. Put that bit on there. And I've got some different sticky. <coughs> I don't know what I have. Another. This is this blue. Yeah, who or something? Blue. Ah, oh, don't do that. It gets all over the place. Let's move this over here. I had this piece of the map under here to do this with. I might use it on something else later, but I was just using it for sticking pins. It's good on you can get the blue stuff. You can see whether you've got ink on it or not, can't you? Glue, I should say. Ink on it. I just got blue on it. Blue glue. 
I know some one lady said she had trouble with her, her other glue like mine and I did too but one lady said hers worked for her so maybe we just got a really bad batch or something because it was terrible and would not stick down when it did it come undone straight away that's not good son you haven't got that on the oh yes you have okay what have I got here wrong I might just I might have stuck it on the wrong thing but I'm just going to move no I'm not I'm leaving it I'm leaving it there I'm going to fix it there's nobody panic about that I'll fix it because I don't know sometimes when you use them harder things uh, especially if you set some set something on it and you start burnishing it with something you might lift it off there so you need to be a bit careful with that right now back to this bit um now what maybe I'm not liking it on that page because it's all blue <laughs> here I go again with my indecisions but I have to get the right thing that I like I do have to get the right thing that I like. Okay, not there. Not there. Let's see. Green. Looks good on the green, doesn't it? And see where I folded this. I'm going to have that bit sitting out there, aren't I? Well, is anybody going to worry about that? I am. I don't know how I come to do that. I'll fix it. Nobody panic about that. I'll fix that. Um, so let me see. What can I put along this thing with the lady? Did I finish? I'm going to go back here and see. That part can be spare. You can put a, somebody can put something on there, okay? I'm happy to leave that like that. I think I'm happy to leave that like that too, that one. And will I put her there? Or further on? Suppose if I do that, put it here, at least it'll be, um, I'll be achieving some sort of thing, you know, have like something done, okay? So I'm going to put it on there, I suppose, okay, next to my house. Uh, I'll sit it there, you know, you can still write on this, there's plenty of room, but I'm going to put something along the edge of this, and maybe this will look good, or not, maybe not, maybe it will. That'll look pretty, won't it? Just so you can't, you can It's covering up that bit there, and you can open it up like that and use it. Right. I'm going to put this on before I stick it down. <clears throat> and it only has to go like at the edge, so it'll come over the. It's got to come over the edge a little bit here, so you can see it. That, blue, that hasn't even dried yet, that, that stuff. And I'm, why I'm using this section is, maybe I just should cut this off anyway. It's got a little bit of fray bit, and I'll, I'll just cut that off. That'd be better, wouldn't it? A bubble on this thing. I intend to do some crafting away today, so well, the time's up on this, I'm going to turn this off and then I'm going to turn it back on again. Because if I'm going to do as much as what I can and show you, I've got a, a lot of things that I want to get done, and I can't do them if I'm not finishing things, so I need to get on with this. Because I'm showing you most of the what I'm doing with it. I need to keep working on it, okay? <clears throat> now, something, something up there. Um, I do have little bits and pieces here that I have made previously. <laughs> too thick to go, too heavy to go in there on that. I do like a little bit of a, um, and you know, we built up some pieces and put them all together. 
Over there. A little bit there. And that looks good. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Does it need a diamond on it? Probably not, doesn't need to. Because there's a diamond on these. These are sort of bling in this bit here. I'll have to fix that top piece. Now what I didn't do, put a piece that you can lift it up to open it. I forgot to put that on there, didn't I? Come here. Why is it going to fray undone if I don't stick that down, isn't it? Oh, gotcha. Now, you go, I've noticed that you have to be careful with your glue and things. <laughs> if you're doing something and you fiddle around with it a bit too much, sometimes, even though your hands are clean and I wash mine all day, <laughs> you still get, it'll still go into grubbiness if you're not careful. You know? You still get oil and stuff off our fingers if we're not careful to play around with things for too much. And that is very disappointing then if you've made a mess of things. I'm not um, quite sure about that because I need another piece underneath it, I think. A bit more something. And that's a bit too big. And you're sticking on a head. Now, I'll put that on something else shortly. Wait a minute, give me a bit of this ribbon here. Actually, it's um, actually seam binding. My God, I'm saying seam binding. No colour seam binding. Let's just put it. Sit that there. Looks good. I like it. So we want to put a bit of glue. Whoops. <laughs> bit of seam binding. Bit of. Bit of tiny piece of fabric that I just had left over from something I was cutting out yesterday and a flower to make sure I put them up the right way. Can not help yourself and then go a bit further with it, don't I? At least one of these things. So maybe one of these things. See what it looks like. Right, that looks pretty good. Now I've got these first pair I picked up because I first pair of tweezers I've picked up. There's something on this, this little pearly thing or baby thing, whatever it is, flat back thing. Mm, nice that is, a little flat back thing. Okay, now I need a, a thing to lift that up to open it to let us see that there's something behind there. Uh, got a piece of that paper anywhere left? Like that. Of course, I would have. I don't think I used the whole sheet, did I? Only had a small piece of it here, but really? <laughs> dear oh dear, what I did with that, I might have used it all. Put, I did put some across that other page, but I don't think I used all the bits that I had here. It's small one. It doesn't take long for things to get piled up. You can't find anything, does it? <coughs> I got that bit. <laughs> and that bit. I don't believe this. Yes, I do. It happens to me all the time, doesn't it? <clears throat> now I've got my voice now. It's handy. Right up. <clears throat> Make a tab. What do you reckon? You want to get away with that? Yes. That looks fine. Looks perfectly fine. Nope, it doesn't. It's too thick on that side. <laughs> ah, dear. This one here work. Right, so we'll put 
tab on this so you know that we're going to lift that up to find got to get some stuff made for me shop so it's about getting stuck into that I think getting on with things I am surely excited about that I know right, someone put this here stick it on there now probably would have stuck it behind the piece of lace there if I was thinking about it sooner obviously I didn't think about it soon enough I went around there too, without sticking out too far. Just a tiny bit so you can see. Now that there's not that's there's annoying me. Look at that. The wicked thing about it went. Anyway, we'll probably do something with that directly. Now we need to put this here like so. And I don't think that's too much. Having both of them sitting there, do you? No, of course not. Right oh. So I'm gonna put me glue on there come off you all right map I'm not using the sticky side I suppose it's not gonna hurt me using this piece of map I've got a truck weight of it map bits and I this one's a bit too big anyway the pictures on here I live here somewhere. Uh, <laughs> in there, in the middle of there somewhere. I think. Not got, not got it written on. But I do live there somewhere. New South Wales. Australia. I think the lid off this fell down. Look at that, that didn't go there. <laughs> oh, that's not nice. <laughs> Mm. Just going to turn this round to me so I can aim this on here properly. So it's not sitting sit too sideways. I'm too skewed with. Okay, so I've got that on there. Flowers in my way. How did I do this wrong? Quite easy, Sonia. I mustn't have put enough glue on the end of this. Well, you didn't either. Yeah. Now that's going to come out under the edge there. I don't want it to not stick. I think I'll ask the lid off me. Got it. <laughs> Other ones they just push on this one, you gotta screw this back on there. Okay. Now I'm gonna go. I have to go because I've been on here now for nearly an hour. And I really need to go and come back on and show you what we're gonna do next. Okay. Well thank you very much for watching and we'll be back in a minute. Bye bye.